Hello, my fellow Croft Brothers, and we are back with another sketchbook tour. Uh, as you can tell, this is not in my normal filming location for these sketchbook tours. Uh, no, I'm in my room, on my bedroom floor, because... Well, I didn't want to go outside of my room today. Uh, so, that is why we have the Unopod taped to the floor, so that it stands up. Yes. Um, here we are, we have our sketchbook from January 2023 to May 2023. Yay. Right. Okay, let's start. Huh. And here we are on the first page of the sketchbook. Ha ha ha. Um, I don't know, I wanted to be quirky with this sketchbook. I wanted to have more of a normal sketchbook feel, but that's, I, I'm, I'm not really sketchy. That's the thing. I'm a sketch to finish product sort of person. Okay. So it's my OCs, Wolf Girl, Wolf Girl, Sheep Girl, and Cece, and they are polyamorous, and like it's love triangle turned polyamory, and so yeah, I like that. And basically, Sheep Girl is discovering that she's bi, <laughs> and that bi people exist, you know. Um, then you might have seen this one before because I posted it everywhere. Uh, her name is Claire. Any pronouns? They like to talk about books. He works at the library. They came to me in a vision. <laughs> uh, basically, before I went to sleep one night, to, I just had this vision of, like, this piece of artwork, and I was just like, ah, I need to draw it before it goes out of my head, because it's not going to come back in the morning. Uh, I don't know. I, I like designing them. Uh, then this is... These are my OCs. Allie and Sebastian. I don't know why... Why, Sebast why, why are the proportions so weird? Why does she, does she have a collar? Where is the scarf coming from? Okay. If you didn't know, they're supposed to be OCs for uh, the band Bell and Sebastian. So this is like a mock cover of a Bell and Sebastian album. Then this is what my reboot of Scooby-Doo would look like. I don't know. Uh, so Velma... I did erase the sketch lines for this, which makes it look a little weird. Um, didn't really like the pen I was using to ink this, because, like, still have it, I still use it, but, you know, it was starting to die. Ooh, now we have more random sketches. So, it's IQ from the Bugaloos, I like him. Uh, this was somewhere on Pinterest. This was somewhere on Pinterest. I looked up a picture of the spider lady from Electro Woman and Dia Girl. Uh, this was from my mind, and this was from my mind. Yeah, I guess... Uh, I don't do spreads much. Oh, I remember this. I remember. Okay. Uh, so basically, I was determined that I was going to do uh, a, a webcomic that was a crossover between my first Puffins of OC, June, and what I consider now my main Puffins of OC, Willie. Uh, Willie has a completely different design now, so she does not look like this. So, yeah. Uh, but I was kind of, like, laying everything out, what they would look like. Um, and June has a locket that has a picture of Shirley in it. Um, because they had they had a little... Uh, oh, what's, what's the female version of Romance? What's the female version of Romance? Sister Mance. That sounds gross. Um... They, they had they had a bit of a thing back in the day, and uh, for, for Shirley's birthday, June gave her a locket. I don't know, I was into Sims at the time. <laughs> that's why that's why I originally gave June an afro, because, like, what's an 80s hairstyle? Oh, an afro! <laughs> so, that's why June had an afro. Okay, uh, 53, June's 53 in the story. Uh, June, do it for Jones. And Willie's 17. Will, no, Jayla, because uh, she's still getting used to being called Jayla again. Sigh. I was kidnapped by a dragon when I was seven. Gasp, oh my. See, you don't believe me. No, no, I do. Go on, please. Okay, what alcohol markers are these? I think these might be, I think these might be my ahoo's. Not sure, though. I don't know why I gave her under eye bags. Maybe to make her look older. I don't know. Oh, this was. Oh, I. Oh, okay. So I was like doing like a style study of uh, Edward Gorey because cause my mom really likes him. And like, look at all this texturing. The problem is, Edward Gorey never draws braids or glasses or women in pants. <laughs> Or colored. Like, it's Edward Gore. Basically, all of my staples, Edward Gorey never draws. Uh, so, I had to come up with most of it on my own. Uh, and it turned out really beautiful. I really love this. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want Yeah, uh, it was my birthday, and, uh, I wasn't actually sad. I was just like, I just had that song stuck in my head. So yeah, uh, ooh, <laughs> this is fun. Oh, I was waiting to read this out. Oh, I wanted to read this out so bad in like a short or something. 
Wow, I haven't done this in a while. You know, the whole, all ye who had turned my very well be damned to so turn back now before it's too late. Spiel slash page. I have trouble with spelling spiel. Blink. You heard me. All ye who enter here may very well be dead. Stuff's about to get real freaking weird, real freaking fast, my fellow Croft brothers. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. If you're if you're my grandma, to turn back now, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my Bowie G. <laughs> Uh, I was, I was, I was like, oh gosh, I don't want, I don't want my family, I want my family who watches my videos to see this, um, what should I do? And, I, and people on Tumblr were just like, oh, do the, the random thing. Okay, so, um, I wanted to do a whole drawing that was just this, but I didn't. This is, like, more of a spread. Uh, so here Bowser's big, and here Bowser's little, and then I did a Sigmund crossover with Junior. I feel like, because I feel like... The dynamic I was thinking of for them was, like, you know, Sigmund is a shy, little cowardly type, and Junior's rambunctious. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, um, then here is a design for a thing I was gonna use in a fanfiction, but I never wrote the fanfiction. Um, mostly because I pretty much all wrote it, wrote it out in the summary. Oh, yay! Rosalina! My Rosalina for my fanfiction! Let the children use it! Lose it! Let the children use it! Let all the children boogie! Oh! Sun, moon, waiting in the sky! He'd like to come. Yeah, uh, so basically, this is a part in my story that I hadn't written yet when I drew this. Um, <clears throat> basically, Rosalina gets very drunk and is just like, you know what, I'm gonna sing and nobody can stop me because I'm Rosalina. She looks like a doll. She, I just realized she looks, she looks like a Equestria Girls doll. Because, like, cause, like, all the design elements, it makes her look like a Equestria Girls doll or a Monster High doll, you know? Oh, oh no! I need now. I need to customize one of. No. <laughs> oh gosh! Don't 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 ever make me customize dolls again. I used to customize dolls. I used to customize dolls, but I haven't done it in a while, and I'm still working on a Judy doll, which I started in like 2021. <laughs> oh, uh, again, Willie has a new design. Just letting you know, if I can't get the old Willie back, then what's the point of being Willie at all? Ah, uh, you know the little sad girl. Oh gosh, it's slightly cringe. It's slightly cringe. It's giving it's giving a little bit of cringe. Um, because, you know, she's, she's so sad. She's so depressed. I don't know. Oh, but it, oh, I, oh, I'm so sad that the, her de new design isn't in this sketchbook, because, like, I want to show it to you, because it's so much better than this. I mean, I mostly changed her face and, like, her hair, but, you know, still. <clears throat> what do you think my name should be? Bats. How about Betsy? The senses of our world. The bugaloos, because the bugaloos are awesome. I was wrong about Joy. And that was the Bugaloos. Betsy Bugaloo. And, you know, she has a little glitter eye. And she's, she's, she's cool. She's Betsy Bugaloo. That's her name now. Oh, gosh, Caitlin, I haven't drawn you in a while. Um, so I was listening to Rises the Moon. You know that song? And I was inspired by that, I guess. And, and she has a little kiss. She has a kiss from Kara. Ah! Oh, the video. So cute. Oh, la la, and March. Mm. Remember I made a video about them not too far back? Help. Oh, remember this short? Oh, there are a lot of short things. 11-year-old me, the MLP freak. Me now, the puff and stuff freak. We've had a hell of a ride, but you thought we were riding to heaven. Well, I really freaking lied, so crank that funky stuff to 11. And, and then... 11 year old me throws uh, my little pony at my head <laughs> i don't know i was trying to replicate my 11 year old art style which was terrible uh but i had i had a bunch of reference so <clears throat> oh gosh you i didn't do it i didn't do this video and i was so worried that it was gonna be like i would do this drawing and then this sketchbook where i would talk about this video that never came to me it was supposed to be like this rupaul drag race type video that was just a battle of the video ideas <laughs> and I ended up choosing this one uh so basically so it was a speed paint uh a summary like talking about puff and stuff's music this this concept and just not making a video and i chose that i chose this option i chose this option i am a quitter i'm sorry i know uh yeah so 
I, I have a script some, for it somewhere, but um, I never did it. I never did it. And it will never see the light of day. Probably. Hopefully. Unless I get really desperate for video ideas one day. Please don't be in Okay. Uh, so this was, uh, the, you might have heard of it, but it was like this trend where it was like, oh, make an OC based on your room. I know someone said they like the fish. They like the fish. The fish, the fish is somewhere up there. Um, then it's all my lore post-it notes. I have this bunny lamp that's up there, up there. Um, and a dream catcher. I don't know. It was like, uh, whatever your sheet color is, their, their clothes. Uh, if you have a desk, then a tail. If you, if you have, a, if, whatever may, however many pillows you have on your bed, you give them that many eyes and it'll, whatever color your, wide your walls to be, that's the color of their skin and then go crazy. Uh, the weird blobby color things is from like a nightmare I had when I was like five. Aw, me and Patty. Um, so this was when me and Patty dressed up as witchy poo as ho and hoodoo for Valentine's Day because, um, I don't know. So I was cool. Realism. <laughs> Uh, ooh, I was into musicals. Okay, I want, I wish, I hope, I pray. I was into, like, listening to videos analyzing music. Uh, why? Why do they hate me? Why don't I fight back? Why do I feel like such a creep? Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Maybe they're, uh, maybe they're, uh, maybe they collect things like Astrian or... Cuckoo, come on, Cuckoo. Oh, you know this stupid... You probably know more musicals than I do. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Uh, so these are Lucy and Roddy. They are these. They are my angel and demon. Uh, I never draw them like Thorn of the Rings anymore, though. Um, but <clears throat> so Lucy, at this point in the story, uh, is going is going to her teacher job, and she has glasses in this point in the story, and she's just, like, grabbing her keys, and she says, I'm heading to work. And then Lucy, uh, not Lucy, uh, Emma and Ronnie come up and, and run up to her and are just like, no, don't leave. We need you. <clears throat> so, yeah. I don't know. They, they're cute. I love them. I love the found family dynamic in this. Oh, this is a companion piece to uh, Claire from earlier. <clears throat> His name is Dave. I found him at the beach. He, him, lifeguard, has no fear. Basically, there was a seagull at the beach. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be so long. There was a seagull at the beach, and he, and he was, like, just standing by the water and letting the waves crash against his feet and not moving. So that was funny. And I didn't use my alcohol markers because I didn't want to pull up paper. Oh, uh, huh. something said I shouldn't waste no time. If I ever gonna make him mine. I walked right up and said, how do you do, do, do. He said, I bet I do as good as you. <laughs> My heart was bang shake. Oh, God, why am I doing so much about Ouija? Okay, <clears throat> art block, just random music videos. Uh, Candy Candy. Uh, then French that roughly translates to life is crap, and I was drawing the characters from the music video. And then this is finally Woken by Jem. I don't know. I just, I just wanted to do something in one line and inspired by her covers. Oh, oh, this is, uh, the Sincerely Me AU I did. Ooh, ooh, uh, check it out on either Wattpad or AO3. Ooh. Mm. Okay, uh, dear Luigi... Basically, uh, they're sending notes to themselves as the other person, and then expressing their frustrations to each other through those notes to themselves from the other- from the other person. It's hard to explain. Uh, dear Luigi Mario, thanks for every note you've sent. Dear King Bowser, I'm just glad to be your friend. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. Ah, uh, I accidentally skipped this page. Fun to see that I actually did something with those skipped pages. Oh, this was this was when I watched the entire series of Don't Hug Me, Asgard. Every day's a new surprise when you're. I wanted to do a Lidsville review that was like disguised as a Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared video. Um, when you're learning with us guys, they live in an actual nightmare, and that's and that's supposed to be Lidsville on the screen. But you know, I can't find the series because they don't have a DVD release, and I don't have. They only had one DVD release, and I don't have the DVD release. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> Uh, okay, then this is from Ready Player One, who was my friend when things got rough, HR pops up. And so, because it only had two croft nods and they were both on the one page, I gave it one dare star on Amazon. I agree in different ways, I don't agree at all. <clears throat> oh, this is a spoiler for a new video. I thought the video would be out by then. Because I only, because I only, because <clears throat> I, because I thought it would only be for a week, 
but then I got bored. And so, um, anyway, I have a gotcha channel. <laughs> uh, you know, just feeling like a fraud and that's furry me. You might have seen it. Okay, fake gotcha account with 500 views in three days. I, I did a vent post on there and it got over a thousand views. Uh, I feel like a fraud. I feel like a fraud. Okay, uh, you might remember this short. Haha, <laughs> I think I'm dying, but that's okay. Well, Betsy will always bounce back. Not this time. That's Jayla. That's Jordan. Not Jayla. Jordan. Uh, but I need to get home to you. That's my job. Now your job is to be dead. Oh, no. Willie, you could do this. Really? Just kidding. You're no hero. You're just a little kid. Uh, we're, we're both puppets, and our dads both hate us. I was, like, kind of obsessed with Don't Hug Me. I'm scared at this point. I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, it's yellow guy from Don't Hung Man, Scared, and Sigment. Because, yeah. Um, then this is from my 36 questions chapter. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, it's funny that I was writing chapter... I was at the end of chapter... Th writing chapter 3 in this. And I'm at the end of ch writing chapter 4 right now. And this was, like, three months ago. <laughs> Uh, let go, Greeny. Never. And so, I'm not gonna give context, because never. Uh, so, Lumpy's official redesign. That's for my furry me. Uh, this is by Hopeful Monster. I got commissioned work of them! Uh, then this was Maria. They were at, like, a furry con I was at. <laughs> These are both my con badges. And then I decided an albino fennec fox is what I will be! With purple and pink, and... Yeah, because that's my color. And the green dot. That's... I don't know. Uh, then me and Patty's persona. Oh. And I think it's funny that, that Patty... No matter in what form, Patty's still taller than me. <laughs> um, oh, great. And here are my monster hyoses. I have those, by the way. Um, most likely to be Polly. Annie, Sarah, and Lexi. So... Annie is, like, animatronic. Uh, Le Sarah is daughter of a sea monster. Do uh, uh, you know? You know who it is. You know. You know. Uh, and Lexi is, uh, daughter, daughter, son, child of, um, uh, Loki. That's the name. <laughs> uh, why do I have to do this? Okay, um... Remember that stupid glass wall thing I was obsessed with for a minute back there? Oh, um, so it was this, this was our diagram. And then this, this was some, oh, oh sorry, I'm knocking the camera. Uh, this was some thumbnailing for that painting I did. And, oh, here's a character from my fantasy journal. Ooh, ah, ee, oh, look at that. Uh. And then, then this was another glass wall thing that was... <clears throat> uh, then I still, that's Bowser and Luigi, and then Bowser and Luigi from when they were kids, and they were friends as kids, and it was a glass wall, and oh gosh! Ugh. Okay, so basically, it's it's based on the song Torn. I thought I saw a man, and I'm torn, I have little faith, <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna get copyright claim to the moon. <clears throat> Choose a boyfriend, puff and stuff. Me, I'll take the dragon. Person, okay, enjoy your s new silly goofter. Goofster. And then I, I wrote, puff and stuff is your new Tumblr boyfriend. And then I, oh no. Uh, my Tumblr family. Honey, I'm home. What if I become, I'm here too for some reason? Uh, so basically it was a fake sitcom that I made. It was fake. Uh, then I wanted to do fake lumpy because I'm from Tangling. Ugh. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Uh, basically, I made a very popular Tumblr post with that song. And then this is pretty. It's Hedgehog in the Fog. This brought my artistic stuff back. Um, and basically... The subtitles were talking about, um, at the beginning she says, will she drown? He says, will she drown? Then towards the end he asks if he will drown. So, will she drown or will I? And, I don't know. It's, it's a very pretty, pretty short. You should watch it. <clears throat> uh, 
then I was obsessed with Welcome Home. Uh, probably to actual scale, Jimmy and Wally. And then I was doing some Wally test runs. Uh, hello, neighbor. Um, we're just going for a walk. And, and Freddy's thinking of Red Flag. Wally, darling. I got a new obsession. He's so pretty. Yeah. I like drawing him. Because he's pretty. This will make sense at some point. I think I was doing a crossover. I still have the account up. Whenever I, I occasionally post Welcome Home stuff. On Tumblr. And then I decided it would be like a reality show. Kind of like Big Brother. Of Friends and Puppets. Um, uh, this way he says, sir, walk past me. It's a nice time for a walk. Would you mind if I join you? Do what you want to do with that. That's great, because I'm going to. I'm not to annoy you, but I see I really have to ask. But a young dude like you is doing up with the tracks we ain't on a train. No, man, let me explain. All right. I'm running my business. You should really do the same. Okay, we're the banana splits consisting of... Okay, uh, this is, uh, right guy from Don't Hide Me, I'm Scared. Who are you again? We're the banana splits consisting of Flegel. Dot, dot, dot. And that's Bingo, because Bingo murdered a bunch of people in the stupid reboot. And it's like, <clears throat> the story is supposed to be, like, about how reboots affect characters or whatever. Uh, Drooper and Snork. Yay. Oh, this was another last wall thing I never posted. Oh, I could have made her. This is not me. Yeah, I just think it's pretty obvious. Okay, <clears throat> why do you like those two? Uh, looking at Bendy and Wally from Many in the Ink Machine and Welcome Home. They have charming smiles. Meanwhile, they're like, <laughs> so evil. Oh my god. <laughs> my thoughts exactly. I'm going to see the Mario movie tomorrow, which means Patty as Bowser, or Daisy, or Peasley. Who's that? The guy from Mario RPG. Um, and then I chose, I chose her as Bowser. Uh, the SMB movie. But it's me and my friends. <clears throat> v as Peach, Dizzy as Mario, Lumpy as Luigi, Patty as Bowser. Dizzy as Mario. Uh, v as Peach. Lumpy as Luigi. Patty as Bowser. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, I just finished this, this, this thing. I just finished it, like, a couple days ago, actually, this fanfiction is called You Belong With Me, and it's like Taylor Swift and, and, and Luigi's a Swifty, and he, and he says, well, has a crush on Bowser, which is stupid. Uh, beautiful Chrissy has beautiful hair that grows, blah, blah, blah. She's imperfect, but she tried. She is good, but she lied. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. <clears throat> Clip. Uh, she is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She's all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pot. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Yay. Oh, yay. This. Mm, I love this. Uh, wholesome. God knows I need it. Mm, it's old design Willy with, with bats and Orson and Seymour. This is still why did I change? Which of you? I just had I just had that, that moment of God, I have changed. When I was redesigning my lore hall, I was listening to the puffin, I was listening to puffin stuff in the background. And like I was just like I was just like apologizing to the characters on the wall because I was just like, oh god, what have I made you? Ah, uh, sorry little guy, no music. And so this is this is my fake pitch for the Mario movie too. Anyway, uh <laughs> Illumination, hire me, hire me, hire me. Uh sorry little guy, no music. Ten minutes later, crash. Uh so Luigi's vacuuming. And he turns off his Walkman and his vacuum. Uh, and then power down sound effect. Thud, thud, thud. Oh, shit. I'm screwed. <laughs> um, I don't know. I kind of like that. Get a load of this train wreck! His hair is a mess and he doesn't know who he is yet. But little do we know the stars welcome him with open arms. Oh, yeah, um... Like, uh, oh, I love Willy in this context. Mm. Piet, Piet. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Eventually. About 12 years from now. 
Okay, another uh, Mario Movie 2 thing. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I did it. Uh, they just defeated King Boo, by the way. Oh my god, you did it. Oh my freak god, he did it. Oh my gosh, we just got saved by three by idiots. By the way, in this version, they're by, they're Polly, I guess. Um, and I'm wishing I was home, going home. With the New York City witches on bleeding me. Bleeding me, going home. Sarman and Garfunkel, the boxer, 1970. Oh, here we are at the end of the sketchbook. Feels like just yesterday I was telling you how cursed it would be. Yeah, good times. Well, it's just me, so see you next sketchbook, my fellow crop. We sure hope so! I thought y'all were asleep! <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh, I love this page. I absolutely love this page. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love all these characters. I love everyone, every single one of these people. I love them because they are what keep me going, I guess. What inspire me to create. So yeah, we sure hope so. Oh, I feel so sad. This is going to be like the end. <laughs> I mean, I'll still make videos, but, you know, it won't be the same. I'll have to edit them by myself. So, yeah, um, that's been your alarm clock call for the day. No witch in sight. Feel free to carry on with your day and see you next week. Yeah. Hell yeah.